let me talk about how to create your own database diagrams. I'm going to create my own Learn It First Works database diagrams here in this video, but I, I really don't want you following along with me, and here's my logic. The next video is our first exercise in Chapter 2, and it does just that. You will be creating your own Learn It First Works like di database diagram. You want to follow along with me, that's fine. You can skip the exercise. I'll leave it up to you. I'm going to make this a fairly short video as such. So here's what you need to do. You need to be connected to your server. Uh, you need to go to your Learn It First Works Lite database. And you need to right click and you're going to see one of two things when you right click on database diagrams. You're either going to see this screen where you have two options, New Database Diagram and Install Database Diagram Explorer, or I think on this one it has it. You're going to see this, where you only have one choice. Okay, so let me go back to the other one and show you what that was, the install diagram support. All right, this, this is the tricky part. This may be the thing that gets you in trouble here. So SQL Server databases, for whatever reason, do not ship with the ability to create database diagrams in them already. So it requires high level permissions to install diagram support. You have to have the create table permission before you're allowed to install diagram support. Now if you have that, great, and you're not worried about change control on your database, then go ahead and do this. But those of you in a locked down environment where you have to submit requests to change the database, don't do this because you're adding a new table, sys diagrams, to the database structure and you might get in trouble. Okay? So if this is on a per database level, this is not at the server level. So if you go to your database and like we're doing the Learn It First Works databases here, but I expect on your own projects you're going to do this. So if you go to yours and you say it, yours looks like that, don't be shy. Go for it. Don't worry about creating a database diagram. You can totally do it. You're not making changes to the physical structure of the database. But if you go to your database and it says install di database support, diagram support rather, you know, you might want to check with whoever's in charge of the source control, uh, whatever it is for your particular database before you do that. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and install that support. It takes a second, so I just say, yes, I need to do that. Now that I've done it, new database diagram. And so really, step number one for this is to go to the database you want to build the diagram from. Step number two is to go to the database diagrams folder and step three would be to right click and make yourself a new diagram. Now I get annoyed at this screen. Let's just zoom it in here. There's only 10 tables in the Learn It First Works Lite copy of the database and there's only one schema. So one schema is sales light, sales LT. So it's okay that all of the tables are listed in alphabetical order by the name of the object. I'm cool with that. That's not bad. However, when you get into a bigger database that has lots of different schemas, it gets to be annoying. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm going to go connect up to another database. And I'm going to show you a new database diagram here. And take a look. Now you're given. The object names are sorted alphabetically, right, A, B, C, but then the schemas are all kind of off. And there's no expand the window button. I can't drag this window to make it a little bigger. All I can do is just scroll down. It's just a little bit of an annoying window, so you got to get used to working with it. Uh, I would almost prefer, I can think of a lot of different ways that I'd prefer things to work in the database diagrams. <laughs> Uh, there's no point in going there now. Um, let me go back to where we were. I'm sorry to tell you all those things. <laughs> uh, new database diagram. So pick your tables. For the light, I want to get all of them. There's only 10 tables. So you can't hit Control-A for some reason, and there's no Select All. So you hold it down. You 
click one of them and you can hold the shift key down and you can hold do a range like if I want to get the bottom five I just click the bottom I hit shift on the keyboard and then I click the top one and it selects all of them if I just want to select certain ones I hit the control key so I click a table I click control and instead of getting a range I can selectively choose which ones that I want okay so I did that again with the control you click it you click one item that you want and hit control and now you can just keep holding it down and you can do that so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna click the top one hit the shift key and click the bottom one and I click add now if you have selected a lot of these or if you have a rather slow computer this is going to take a long time this is a fairly intense operation so I I wish there was like a way that it would go away when I closed it but it doesn't um, so I usually need more screen so I often have to back out a little bit to zoom here uh, and then you know use this if you need to um, and inevitably it seems they never really look right like I don't want these scroll bars let's say so I have to move them just a wee bit not too much that one doesn't have the full uh, everything in it so you know kinda gets a little bit annoying that you have to keep doing this over and over and over again right but once you get it to where you're happy don't 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 you dare hit that arrange tables button that you see there because once you get it just like you like it and you hit that and it completely wipes away all of your changes so the next step, once you've got it set correctly, you want to click the Save button. And this allows us to save the diagram. So I'll enter a name, uh, Scott's Example. And I can now safely close it. And I can go back to the Object Explorer. And under the Database Diagrams, how come it's not there? I need to refresh. And underneath, there's Scott's example. And I can right-click and modify it, or I can just double-click it. And when I do, it just loads it up, just like it was. And I can modify it. And you notice, as soon as I modified it, what did it do? It put the asterisk in there, showing me there is an unsaved change. So don't hit the arrange thing, right? You don't want to do that right there. Uh, you can tell it to auto-size, like I can click that. That will make it a little better. Uh, one of the things you can do, Control A will work here. So you hit Control, you hit A, that selects all of the tables, okay? and then you can click that Auto Size, and we'll see, I'll show you here. We'll take a look at the customer. You see, it's got the both scroll bars. So we'll hit Auto Size, and it makes them a little better. Unfortunately, there's no option that I know of. Maybe there is. I don't know but I've never seen it that does that for me automatically so that's how we will create our diagrams and remember if you leave something off you can always go add a table to it uh, there aren't any tables when I click add table and nothing is in here it's telling me you have every table in the database already on the surface here so once you have it now the next step would be to go print it okay? so then you can print it and view your page breaks Right? And you can move these around, and you can landscape, you could do all kinds of stuff, and then print it out. I will, you know, in the exercise, I'm going to suggest that you print it, because I print mine. makes it easier.